I'm Nathan Rich, aka Huo Guo Da Wang, or as someone at Qijiu Ba said the other day, Te Ao, Te Bie Ai Chi Huo Guo de Ren. Ow! Ow! The trade war continues this week with more strangeness. FedEx, the package delivery company, is in a bit of trouble in China. And here's the big surprise. The media is distorting the facts. Fox, a right-wing media outlet in America, described a recent development. Let's take a look at what they say. Beijing targets FedEx as U.S.-China trade war escalates. Okay, so what that tells me as an American-minded person is this information. China is attacking FedEx, probably for no good reason, and is making the trade war worse. These damn Chinese just keep screwing things up, according to Fox's editors. Beijing has signaled its newest target, FedEx. Yeah, see? China's just going around targeting innocent victims again. China opened a probe into FedEx's wrongful delivery of packages, according to Bloomberg. Ugh. Dear God, Bloomberg is still pretending to be a valid source. Okay, l let's slow down. Wrongful delivery of packages is in quotes because that's just what China's calling it. They're so dramatic. Look at the wording on this article. Quote, Huawei accused FedEx of unauthorized rerouting of its packages, saying some had been bound for addresses in Asia, including its offices in China. That implies very clearly that the packages were destined for Asia and that therefore they didn't come from Asia. Naturally, the reader will assume they came from America. Let's look in the Bloomberg article to see about this wrongful delivery of packages, shall we? FedEx has apologized for delivery errors on Huawei packages following reports that parcels were returned to senders. Well, damn, I guess they're right. I mean, calm down, China. Why are you being such a baby? All they did was return the packages back to the people that sent them. What does that cost, like 20 bucks to send them again? Wait, 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 what does this say? Packages containing documents being shipped to China from Japan were diverted to the US without authorization. What the hell? Damn, Japan has got to be pissed as hell. Okay, remember when I asked why Japan wasn't considered a security risk to America when it comes to using their electronics? Totally unrelated piece of information, they don't seem to have any problem at all with the fact that America is rerouting their mail. I guess we'll just consider that a coincidence. Okay, so it's not just returning the package to the sender. In fact, the package was returned to a different continent. It was returned to America, which just happens to have started a trade war with China. And oh look, they also tried to do the same with other packages from Vietnam. But why do I have to leave Fox's report to find this information? Because as we know, Fox's coverage of the trade war has been extremely one-sided. And we also know that a lot of right-wing people don't really like China, or maybe they just like Trump more. Whatever the reason, Fox's report makes it seem like China is just randomly attacking FedEx because they sent a package back to the origin. But in fact, if you spread your research to include other outlets, you start to get a different picture altogether. Rather than China being a big baby because FedEx returned a package, actually the picture is much more sinister. But let's reverse all this. Maybe that will clarify things. Imagine sitting at your home in America and you find out that China caused a diversion of American packages back to China in a political climate like this. Just imagine the headlines. Yet when America does this to another country, the media makes it seem like that country is being irrational by noticing. This is how modern propaganda works. One-sided reporting intended to distort the picture. Then, ironically, if I come out to talk about the other side of the argument, I get accused of being biased. Just imagine how little thought it takes to figure out how incorrect this is. Here, I'll demonstrate. Imagine for a moment that you're walking down the street when you're suddenly surrounded by five people. They start attacking you based on your race. They hate you. They want you gone. You're garbage to them. Then a friend of yours comes up and tells them, hey, you know what? He's actually a good guy. I like him. You guys have no right to talk to him like that. You need to check yourself and check your communication. Is your reaction to tell that guy that he's biased? 
Should that guy run back and say, wait, wait up guys, sorry, I just wanted to add, you know, I don't like my friend's shoes and he drinks too much sometimes. So you're right in at least those ways. Okay, see you later. Of course not. Why? Because objectivity in the micro sense is useless when you're facing a barrage of one-sided information. The short-term fix is to present competing information which pushes back against the tide of fervor. Then, only when the balance returns can truly objective micro conversations be had. The macro needs to be balanced first. So yes, as long as tons and tons of media goes after China over and over again, I will be mostly exposing the lies and misinformation they tell while doing it. That's objectivity. That's an effort to return the conversation to a point of balance. You know, one time I was contacted by a reporter from who wanted to do a story on me. He wanted to talk about the New York Times expose I did, which showed their massive amount of lies and intentional mistranslations. I looked at the articles that that reporter had done about China. There were hundreds of them, and not one single article was positive. Not one of them! So, do you think that this guy should write some neutral articles to balance things out? Eventually, yeah. But in the meantime, he'd better find some positive things to write about China. Needless to say, I told him I would need to record the interview. Never heard from him again. Sorry, I'm not that dumb. Anyway, back to FedEx. Don't get me wrong, I actually enjoy some of Fox's programming. I think Tucker Carlson, for example, is hilarious. But when you see news as I do, it's not that risky to be exposed to different points of view. The left is biased, the right is biased, the center is biased. It's up to us to practice not just immediately believing whatever we're hearing. That's been my message for a while now when it comes to media about China. Learn to take reports less seriously until you have determined through multiple sources the complete story. Okay, so then what happened? China is initiating a list of companies which are unreliable foreign entities. In other words, companies which are at high risk of repeating what FedEx did cause an international scandal by criminal actions against China at the request of America. You know what the punishment in America is for diverting a package? Up to five years in prison and a huge fine. So China is making this list of basically companies to watch closely. Note that they aren't banning these companies at this point, they're just watching them closely. As usual, this seems to be the situation. America is compelling companies to break the law, which they are justifying because the victim of the crime might be compelled to break the law. In other words, they're committing a crime based on the pretense that someone else might later commit a crime. They're literally acting out the plot from Minority Report. And that's about as un-American as it gets. Here's a warning to any foreign companies operating in China and for any Chinese companies operating in America. Don't be compelled to act as an agent for the government because if you get caught, your business can take a massive hit. China doesn't need FedEx any more than it needs Dolce & Gabbana. This is one of the biggest misunderstandings about the China-American relationship. China can do just fine without American products for the most part, but America will crumble without China's. FedEx, you really screwed up this time. Hopefully we'll see a turnaround of this whole situation soon. For the sake of both countries that I love, let's start communicating better. Thanks everyone. See ya. Yo, get out of here. Jesus. Shh. Come on.